tell us about what's happening with the STI program. Well, the STI we introduced last year here at Oshkosh, it stands for Stole Inspired. Uh, we developed it specifically for the person that wants to take off short, land short, and that that's their primary mission. Continental approached us last year and asked us if we'd be interested in putting one of their new Titan aircraft engines in it, the Titan OX340. We agreed to do that, so we kind of made a change to it and upgraded it. Same exact airframe. As you know, the kit box has been very versatile. Now, instead of saying up to 150 horse, we can now say 180 horse has been on the front of a kit box at one time or another. We're just tickling with the performance right now, but we're seeing uh, great climb profiles. 2,000 feet a minute should be pretty attainable, pretty easy, and as far as the takeoff, it's going to be pretty respectable. Brief us again on the STI program. What does that do to this airframe? Well, it's a Series 7 Super Sport airframe. So it's the same airframe that we produce and have been producing for the last several years. What we did is created a wing profile that is a little bit larger in cord, thicker, and it's a custom airfoil to increase the lift profile of it, and that was specific for the short takeoff and landing. It's lowered the stall speed by as much as 10 miles an hour over our standard Super Sport. The approach speeds are about 10 mile an hour slower as well, and of course, no free lunch. The cruise speed is about 20 mile an hour slower. So it's proven to be a great airplane for that person that is strictly after the stall environment. Do you expect the 340 to get you back any of that top end? The 340 actually done pretty well on the cruise side of it, so it will pick up the top end. And we're seeing pretty respectful cruise numbers now of 120 to 125 true. It is a heavier install, so the control feels and things like that are a little bit heavier than what we're normally accustomed to because of the install. But all in all, the engine's performing quite well. Who does the STI attract? Well, as you know, the Carbon Cub really splashed the market early on with the 180 horsepower of their CC340. And again, back to the super short takeoffs and landings and the stole performance. And that market, we constantly have people that don't care for the tandem, want the side-by-side. -side. And with Kit Fox's history of stole, they'd ask us if they could get off of, on these ever so shorter pastures or backyards or whatever their home. And while our current Series 7 will do it, it's one of those things where you always have to be on your A game. And you don't want to have to operate always on your A game. You're asking for a little much if you can. If you can. And because of that, we went ahead and de developed the new wing and the new landing gear so you could drop it in a little bit higher and not have the typical rebound that you get. And then the longer cord wing for the shorter takeoff and the stole capabilities. Specifically, we were targeting the Carbon Cup market. What's it cost? The SDI wing is an option. I believe it's a $9,800 option and the landing gear uh, kit, which is the tail wheel, the landing gear, the, the uh, monster shocks, which you see the nitrogen filled shocks, I believe that was 58. The firewall forward for the Titan we have yet to develop. The engine itself, I believe the OX340 is 28,000 and some change. The firewall forward package for that is going to be in the six to $7,000 range, and that will include prop and exhaust and everything you need to install the engine on the front of the airframe. So what can we expect a completed X340 STI to go out the door for? We're estimating in the 80 range. And build time? Build time averages about 1,000 hours, 18 months for a first-time builder. And the STI wing comes in only in a quick build fashion and is pre-rigged to the fuselage. John McBean, as we get to the end of Oshkosh 2016, pleasure to visit with you as always. And we thank you much for your time. Jim, thank you so much for visiting. Aero TV is brought to you by... Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls, for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at aspenavionics.com. When obstacles are hard to see, ForeFlight Synthetic Vision provides pilots with better situational awareness and safety. ForeFlight, the app pilots depend on.